now for the defining of wind loads i will go in the define load patterns i will write wind select the load type wind and select the chord according to which i want to apply the wind loads i will select ubtc 97 you can select uh, the chord according to your uh, location of your country here wind load or your country uh, which code is following ubc 97 so here are the parameters for the wind load so basically there are basically two different options for the wind load uh, application so first one is exposure from extent of tire frames and second exposure exposure from shell objects when you uh, select the second option then these parameters will become inactive here you can see so i will discuss the second parameter later for the first parameter uh, here is the windward coefficients and leeward coefficient and for example in the plain areas where there is no uh, gable roofs for example uh, only the wind load applied on the walls for that you can select the parameters for the wall method one normal force method windward wall 0.8 inward and for leeward wall 0.5 outward and for similarly for ropes windward ropes for leeward ropes depending upon the slope you can select the parameters here is 0 0.8 and 0 0.5 so here 0 0.8 and 0 0.5 and uh, window directions and exposure widths here uh, you can put manually by yourself or uh, software automatically calculate and First one is 0 degree for x direction, 2 is the 90 degree for y direction. So how this works, uh, for example, if in a city the maximum speed I will put here. So for example, uh, in our area the maximum speed is 105 and the exposure type, there are three exposure type B, C, D it depends upon the building location if the building uh, situated near the uh, sea area or, uh, sea area or in the plain area then the wind effect will be more and if the building located in the uh, located in the congested area in a advanced city then the wind effects on the buildings will become less so depending upon the exposure type you, you will select the the category uh, exposure type importance factor similarly it depends upon the buildings and from where to where we want to apply from the base of this story to the top story so what is the exposure type <clears throat> here is a, a basic wind speed definition exposure type b is has a terrain with buildings forest or surface irregularities covering at least 20 percent of the ground level area extending one mile or more from a site exposure c has a train uh, is a flat and generally open uh, extending 0.5 mile or more than the site any full quadrant exposure d represent the most severe exposure areas with basic wind speed 80 miles per hour or more uh, so exposure d is a severe condition it's a normal and it's a minimum condition so you will select according to the uh, the type so its speed uh, is wind speed is 105 so we have also also see uh, that our building is is going to locate in which area it's a uh, open terrain or and there are a lot of buildings so you can select accordingly if you do not know select the c category then these are the factors okay and then software automatically calculate the parameters you do not need in this uh, uh, calculation or so you can do by your own self so how software calculate on by own i will click ok so here i will just quickly draw the beams for example for drawing of beam here is a column uh, i will just select all stories and i can click one by one for the drawing of columns
now for the illustration of the wind loads i will quickly draw a building Uh, here is the column 300 by 300 here is I have selected all stories when I click in the one story in the all series stories column automatically run for the quick way you can select by this way so here I have drawn the columns quickly so now I will draw the slabs quickly how here is a quick draw slab quick draw slab you will select the property Slab 150 millimeter, which is uh, I have defined here. Here you can see slabs automatically created in the all floors. But at the bottom we do not need. I will remove by going there, go into the plan, base apply. When I will go, I will select only one story. If I select all stories, click one, all stories will be selected automatically here but I do not want I just want to remove the bottom uh, base story I will delete so here now the buildings are looking good the boundary conditions are hinge I will assign it to pin uh, one story I will select all the base and assign joint joint restraint is the boundary condition I will select fix that will restrict all the deformations and rotations for hinge only uh, deformation resist moments will not resist so i will select fixed end condition apply okay if there is not just click here refresh now you can see boundary conditions are applied so now i will uh, assign the diaphragm here i will check first diaphragm modify yes digital diaphragm is defined uh, what is rigid and semi rigid you can check it's the flexibility of the uh, your uh, your slab uh, I will select all the slabs select properties slab sections slab 150 millimeter okay so now I can assign uh, uh, sorry shell diaphragms D1 apply okay so it, it is showing the diaphragm extent uh, I can uh, disappear this diaphragm extent by going here and check this apply so here diaphragm extent is removed I have now I, I have assigned the all the slabs the rigid diaphragm now you can see the software automatically applies to the uh, wind load to the structure so here load pattern wind modify modify here you can see the location width depth x ordinate y ordinate then the second option is uh, of wind we can uh, select the exposure from shell objects for that we have to create the cladding uh, around the building for example now I am going to create a cladding around the building I have selected the 3d view and draw draw auto cladding uh, use floors between the floors automatically create the cladding use beams use columns so whatsoever the way you like for example i have selected the use floors okay now you can check the software automatically uh, assign the cladding to the uh, building so the cladding is that thing uh, uh, in the software which do not have mass and do not have stiffness it only uh, going to calculate the wind pressure to the beams columns and the slabs so here I will select all the um, I will go into the a elevation a apply okay I will select all the X sites 3d and assign shell loads and from here wind coefficient so here for the windward pressure I will appoint 8 for the windward wind apply so here you can see in the inward 0 0.8 software automatically calculates 
this value when we refresh and run the analysis we can see these values here so for the wind loads for example now if i run the model i can see the values this is deformation model I will uh, for the uh, wind response I will go in the maximum storage displacement due to wind so here you can see uh, the displacements X is blue which is uh, showing the X direction because we have applied the loading in the in the X direction for the uh, leeward we will select the X negative side and apply the lever pressure so here you can see the displacement maximum displacement appearing here now we will also see the loads display load assignments to the shells wind load apply so here you can see the parameters now 0.8 w 7.4 software automatically calculates this, these are the two ways for defining the load uh, for the wind load pa pattern so here I have selected the second option so I have taught both options it is up to you you can uh, select the which option is better for you thank you